and we painted everything nice white and it just makes the kitchen more friendly user friendly especially with these countertops and everything else we've done in here and they installed a new floor now this is linoleum believe it or not it almost looks like tile doesn't it yes so you can get different types of linoleum and figure out what you want that reduced the overall cost uh, instead of installing like travertine type oh. panels down on the ground or something like that and it's looking good what do you think mr. inspector I'm surprised on that you like, trim around the top of the cabinet. You like that crown molding? I, yeah. I think it came out very nice. And, and what about the uh, granite countertops? You like that? Very nice and clean. Very nice and clean. Yeah, the way it works, the, the way the, the faucet works. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool faucet. And I like the garbage disposal they installed. They put a nice upgraded one, a nice quiet one. And they even got the soap dispenser back in there. And I really like that button for the yes. garbage disposal right here. That's pretty good. You know, I like that. And your uh, plug works fine underneath? Yes, the plug works fine. We cleaned that up where the telephone jack used to be. Doesn't that look way better now? Yes. There's no wires setting on the countertop. There's no wires coming down, plugging into the wall over there for the telephone or the, or the little box that plugged in for the alarm oh, system there. Crazy. We got all that stuff underneath this, this cabinet counter desk unit right here and we did that even after the painter came and he did all the spray texturing and all that it's a good thing we figured out how to get those wires down there huh remember you helped me fish all those wires back behind yes, the we dishwasher did. Yes, we did and that's how we did it we we took power we had to get power underneath that desk unit if you saw you've been watching my videos you saw exactly how I did that I grabbed power from underneath the sink Yes. And we fished it behind the dishwasher, behind this cabinet, drilled a hole in there, fished it up into the wall, and we installed a cut-in box right there for the new electrical outlet. We relocated the telephone jack, because that telephone jack used to be up here where this plug was, yep. where this electrical outlet was. Then my uncle, the other inspector, here he is. Hey. I love your kitchen now, by the way. Yeah, good. Yeah. He had the bright idea of putting the elect. He says, hey, how about if we put an electrical outlet in here? Because I was thinking about just patching it and getting the taper back here and all that. He came up with that, so we didn't have to patch that. And there was the power was right there. And because I didn't have that hooked up yet, I easily pulled the, the uh, cut-in box out of the wall, fished the wire from there up to here. We installed a new cut-in box up there. We put that electrical outlet up and kaboom! We relocated the wires that go to the telephone. We fished those behind the cabinet right over there. And this looks all nice and clean now. Now the only other thing they're doing in, in here is they're going to install some new blinds. Shutters. Oh, shutters. They're going to put shutters here. That's going to look really nice too. Okay, so for the time being, they just got this up here. For at night they can just kind of close those the shutters that'll that'll look nice too and i really again i love that picture there that you guys picked out good. that's very good okay well is there uh option ob the, um, they, if they wanted to put caulking on top and they could if they wanted yes uh jim's gonna come back your man jim he's gonna come back and he's gonna caulk the top of this crown molding, the bottom of the crown molding, all the nail holes, he's going to fill those up and it's going to look 100% complete. If you don't do that, your project is not complete. So I would encourage you to always do that. The last thing you want is for someone coming in here saying, oh yeah, they should have done this, they should have done that. The idea is when you do things, when you do remodeling or kitchen remodel or whatever you're doing, you want to make it look like you were never there when you get done. Well, that's all I got for today, but I'll be back with more videos.